Hi, my name is Francesca, and I'm a packet optical sales engineer here at Light River Technologies. Today, I'm going to provide you with a glimpse into our interop lab and discuss a recent Sienna proof of concept that we performed. One of my primary roles as a sales engineer is to help the customer select the ideal networking solution for their specific requirements. This often includes guiding the customers to select the right balance between cost, operational complexity, and system requirements. Part of this process involves vetting out cutting edge technology to ensure that it meets the functional requirements of our customers' needs in a proof of concept. Let's head into the Interop Lab where Aaron and I will walk you through a proof of concept that we performed on the Sienna RLS, validating spectral efficiency, resiliency, and its ability to operate as an open line system. Aaron, can you go ahead and tell us about the Light River Interoperability Lab? Yeah. Here in the Light River Interoperability Lab, we test multi-vendor next generation equipment to ensure it truly is best of breed before we sell and deploy it. Here in this lab, we have over $50 million worth of fully functioning, but non-production equipment. This lets us test niche use cases or ambitious ideas before that equipment carries mission critical traffic. We've tested how different line systems from various tier one vendors such as Sienna, Infinera, or Nokia interact with each other, as well as how legacy optics mesh with their newer, more up-to-date versions. We also do various proof of concepts to ensure the equipment our customers receive is exactly what they need. We recently performed a Sienna proof of concept in our Light River lab. Erin, can you tell us about the success of that proof of concept? Like Francesca said, we recently had a great proof of concept revolving around the Sienna RLS line system. The customer wanted to use that line system to sell Spectrum as a service. To do this, we developed a set of engineering guidelines revolving around spectral efficiency and performance to ensure they could stack as many transponders as possible without taking hits. We also tested the impact that transponders coming in too hot or too cold would have to simulate the event of one or more customers going down. The data that we got shows that the system is resilient and the other customers still stay up. To prove this, I wrote a custom Python script to pull various power levels at different points in the system. Let me show you. What you're seeing here are the power levels of eight different transponder waves going through the RLS system being pulled periodically by a Python script. This is what you would see while the system is working in a steady state. Now, what I'll do is show you what happens when things start to fail. First, let's simulate a fiber aging or small loss event not a total failure, but a partial failure. As you can see, the PSI2T wave dropped in power a little bit, but you can see in real time that the other waves have no change to their performance. Next, we'll escalate this a little bit and take the wave almost entirely down. You can still see that the other channels are passing unaffected, and this shows the resiliency of the RLS system. This is just one small example of the type of specialized testing we do here at Light River to ensure our customers can hit peak performance. Thank you for letting me give you a quick tour of Light River's Interop Lab and our recent Sienna RLS proof of concept. Light River's design practice is the first phase of Light River's innovative, intelligent, factory-built network process that delivers the best designed and highest quality networks in half the amount of time. Feel free to contact Light River and let us assist you in finding the right balance between cost, operational complexity, and system performance for your next packet or optical network.